But to understand something or to understand a topic, you first need to know the definition of it. Comfort. What does it mean? It has two parts to it. Comfort as a verb and comfort as a noun. As a verb, it means to console or make someone who is facing difficulties feel better. Life's going through life's difficulties feel better. And as a noun, it means that you have a pleasant feeling. I want for us to keep in mind the word feeling, a pleasant feeling of being relaxed and free from life's difficulties. Mm. Why choose comfort? Because for us to rise up, we need to come out of our comfort zone. Mm. And the focus of the sermon will be on comfort as a noun. Amen. Amen. God does not want for us to find comfort in his words or in his work. And you will look at me and say, wait, what, does, what are you talking about? The reason why I'm saying this is that Jesus, we know, is God's word. Mm. And Jesus is the prince of peace, mm. not the prince of comfort. Yeah. The difference between comfort and peace, comfort is dependent on your situation yeah. and your feelings. Mm. While peace, on the other hand, is independent, regardless of what you're facing, you have that peace. And not just Thank any God. peace, you have God's peace. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And from our verse for the theme, then Jesus said to his disciples, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross, and follow me. You must give up your own way, take up your cross, and follow me. Now this verse, it speaks against comfort. Yeah. Because comfort keeps you stagnant, mm. keeps you in one place. Mm. But Jesus says you must deny your comfort zone, pick up your cross, and follow me. Amen. 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 So for us to rise up, as it's the theme of our service, we need to get out of comfort zone. And looking into the world, I'll go into the world, then come into the church as a body. Into the world, there are two parts of it. Comfort, you can find comfort in any part of life, whether it be on the positive side of life or the negative side of life. Mm. Let's take the negative, for example. You have tried so hard into getting something, and it seems like nothing is working out. Mm. So the, the feelings come in and tell you, you have tried. You have tried. Yeah. Just, just make peace with the situation. Yeah. That's what we call it, make peace. Mm -hmm. But you are actually not making peace with the situation because you're finding comfort in the situation. My God. Amen. Amen. That's the negative side of life. Let's go to the positive side of life. The positive side of life, you've worked hard. You've achieved all that you wanted to achieve. And you've reached a certain point in life, a certain point or your status in life. And, and the feelings come again and tell you, you've worked hard. It's time for you to relax. It's time for you to find comfort. Mm. And mind you, comfort is used by the devil to either make you digress mm. or keep you stagnant. Yeah. From the negative side of life, it keeps you stagnant. Mm. From the positive side of life, it makes you digress. Mm. Amen. 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 Who all are familiar with the principle that Jesus said, if you teach a man, if you feed a man, you teach him for a day, you feed him for a day. But if you teach him how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. See, the devil does not have anything 
Mm. He only manipulates or corrupts what God has in yeah. place. Yeah. The reason why I brought up that principle is because comfort or the devil's scheme using comfort runs on that principle. Yeah. Comfort with itself is a device the devil uses to make you destroy yourself over time. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because as we respond quicker to how we feel yeah. rather than what we know and believe. Yeah. So yeah. the devil uses that principle of right. teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So as he teaches you to, to destroy yourself slowly in comfort, as he teaches you to destroy yourself slowly in comfort, you become stagnant or if you are ahead in life, you start to digress. Amen. 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 So that's why Matthew 16, 24 is the theme of our service, Rise Up. Hmm. For us to, to grow and to succeed in any part of life, and as Christians, we need to deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's a reason why Jesus says this. Because we, as humans, we don't know where to go. And feelings, as the devil may manipulate it, he will direct us into the wrong path. Yeah. But once we deny ourselves, we deny how we feel, mm. we deny what the situation looks like, mm. and we choose to focus on Jesus, mm. we will head into the right path. Amen. Amen. And uh, the other scripture from 1 Samuel 3, verse 10, it says, Samuel, Samuel, oh sorry, and the Lord came and called us before. Samuel, Samuel, the Lord and Samuel replied, speak, your servant is listening. Mm. Why would I bring up this verse? Once you find comfort, it's hard for you to listen to instructions. That's true. It's hard for you to listen to instructions. I can bring up an instance of when we are younger, and let's say we want to go and sleep, we're tired. And you know, back then, your parents don't care whether you're tired or not. If they want you to do something, you must get up and do it. So you, you go, you sleep, find a comfortable spot in your bed. And they're calling you, come and do this. Mm -hmm. We are resistant to, to, to the call. Mm -hmm. So that is what comfort does. It prevents or it hinders you from listening to instructions. Yes. So once you find comfort, if someone tells you anything, you won't listen to them. Yes. But you will listen more over to how you feel. Yeah. Because comfort follows how you feel. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 And this is why in the Bible, in the Bible, the comfort that is mentioned in the Bible is the verb to give comfort. Amen. Amen. But this comfort that I'm focusing on, as I've said, is the now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Um, comfort, so I've, I've spoken about it within the worldview. Mm -hmm. Now let's come to church. Comfort, as I've seen and noticed, thrives in the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Comfort creates a non-intentional routine or cycle. Yes. Amen. Yeah. You're comfortable coming to church. You're comfortable with hearing gospel songs. You're comfortable with how with the preacher preaching, but you don't receive what you are meant to receive for that sermon or for that day. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Like I said, comfort hinders your listening. Yeah. And so within the church, comfort has find itself. Mm. That's why most people can come to church. And go out the same way they came. Mm -hmm. They're comfortable seating, they're comfortable with hearing the word, and not being changed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the Bible also says, by their fruits you know them. Oh, How would you know if someone has, has comes to church intentionally? You see by how they, they worship, how they present themselves, and how they behave. True. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And within, within the church, 
God's full purpose or God's plan is for the church to grow and prosper and to spread his love throughout the world. Amen. But we cannot spread God's love throughout the world if we ourselves are not growing. Mm. Right. And comfort Preach. hinders growth. Amen. Like I said, comfort keeps you, either makes you to digress or keep you stagnant. Amen. 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 And the, the verse for this part is from Romans 12, 6. Romans 12, 6. It reads as follows from the NLT. In His grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. Yeah. So if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak it out with as much faith as God has given you. Yeah. Amen. 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 These are our abilities and the gifts God has, the potential, in other words, that God has placed within us. Hmm. But this, that potential cannot come out if we are comfortable. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It cannot come out when we are within our comfort zone. So this is why, with the theme, the verse of the, the verse of the theme, uh, Matthew sixteen twenty four, we must take up our cross, deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow Jesus. Because success and growth is is I can say infinite. Because we. We only stop growing when we die. We only stop succeeding when we die. Yeah. Because the definition of success depends on the person. Yeah. From 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 the internet or the dictionary, success would mean accomplishing a goal. Mm -hmm. But then that is not the end. Yeah. Success is a continuous process. Yeah. Same as learning. Yeah. Learning is a continuous process, no yeah. matter how old or how young. Are. Amen. 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 Learning only stops when you stop. Mm. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. What is created is it as we are within the, the parameters. Mm -hmm. We are within the parameters. And so many times we try to determine what is success. Uh -huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, comfort, like I said, the devil uses comfort to nurture you into destroying yourself. And after destroying yourself, he uses that also to keep you in that state of destruction. Mm. Amen. Sure. Amen. And with the uh, with Romans twelve, the gifts God has placed within us, we need, as Jesus has commanded, the great commission. We need to go into the world and preach and be his disciples. But we cannot do that if we are comfortable. Hey. Sure. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Jesus or God never promised us comfort. No. no. But he promises us something better. Amen. Amen. Peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Peace. A short story. Not necessarily a story, but this is how it is. God is walking with you through life. And you're you're succeeding because God is with you. Yeah. You're succeeding. And there comes a point, because you've gone through your life's difficulties and you've succeeded, there comes a point where God says, let's rest here. Yeah. Build a tent. Mm. And you and the feelings come in, the mm. devil creeps in and tells you, look at all that you've been through. Yeah. Don't you want to relax? Uh -huh. Don't you want to, to you know, breathe? Mm. Build a house. Mm -hmm. So now, because this is how you feel, following how you feel, Instead of building the tent, which is quicker and takes less effort, uh -huh. but it's uncomfortable, uh -huh. you build a house, which takes much more effort, much more time, but it's comfortable. Yeah. If you look at it, you are losing more than you're gaining. Amen. Because mm -hmm. with the house, it takes more time, right. more effort, but it's comfortable. More time and effort. With the tent, less time, less effort, but it's not comfortable. But there's a reason why God says build a tent. Yeah. Because comfort creates 
your transition point as your destination. That's a good yeah. one. So now you build the house, God returns, and you're in the house. Comfortable. He's calling out to you. You won't listen. Because mm. comfort hinders you from hearing or listening to uh, instructions. Uh, 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 so now, let's say I'm tired. Mind me. <laughs> and I sit here. And someone calls me to, to go and walk a distance. Let's say to kick it. I would not want to go. Because yeah. I have comfort in the chair. Yeah. But meanwhile, if I was to walk to kick it, Maybe the Lord would have led me to speak to someone, or would have led someone to me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So comfort within within itself also hinders your opportunities in the windows that God hey, is trying to open for you. Hey, Amen. Amen. Oh, true. Amen. True. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Um, Romans twelve six. No, not Romans twelve six. Sorry. Um, Oh, it's X. It's X 26, 16, sorry. And Jesus commanded, Now get to your feet, for I have appeared to you to appoint you as my servant and witness. Tell people that you have seen me and tell them what I will show you in the future. Amen. Amen. But this cannot be possible if we find comfort. Let's go to the Bible. Like I said previously, God does not want us to find comfort in His words. The reason being is that once we find comfort in God's word, we get too used to it. Mm. And being too used to something, mm. you become routine yeah. in the day. Yeah. And you miss out on revelation. Uh, yeah. Amen. Because uh, this has happened to me personally. There can be a verse or a chapter that you have read once, a while back. But you come back to it mm. for the second time, for the third time. Mm. You get the revelation. Mm. But once you find comfort in, in the Bible or in God's word, you just read it as a story. Yeah. Or, uh, or historical facts. Mm. Amen. So that is what God does not want. He wants for you to find peace mm. within his word. Amen. Because the Amen. problem with comfort is that you only associate yourself with certain yes. Bible verses Amen. that speak to your feelings. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. For example, the, the, the verse that accompanies our theme, mm. deny yourself. Mm. Fe your feelings don't want for you to yeah. deny yeah. yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. It wants for you to listen to it mm. and to relax. True. Amen. Mm. Yeah. So that's why God does not want for you to find comfort in his words. Mm. Rather, he wants for you to find peace. Amen. Because when you find peace, mm. You find growth. Mm -hmm. You find um, trust in God. Yeah. And also, yeah, you have to trust in God. Yeah. And also, no matter mm -hmm. life's circumstances, mm -hmm. you remember God's word. Amen. And the peace within you, Alleluia. God's peace within you, Alleluia. keeps you focused Amen. that this storm that I'm going Yay. through yeah. is just a transition. Amen. 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 So this is the danger of comfort. Mm. This is the danger of comfort. And this is what the devil uses. Since he can't destroy you directly, mm -hmm. he gets you to do it yourself. Yeah. Because remember, in the story of Job, when the devil went to God and said, when, when the devil went to God, and God was boasting about Job, and, and the devil said, let, let us test him to see if he's really for you. But, he, but God said, take away everything else. But don't touch his soul. Don't touch his soul. There's a reason why. Because your soul belongs to God mm. and not you. Mm. Amen. Mm. And the devil can't even touch your soul. Yeah. He can afflict you outwardly, but he cannot touch your soul. Amen. So this is what he does. He gets you to deny your own creator. <laughs> Once you do that, you separate yourself from God. You separate yourself from salvation mm -hmm. that is always there waiting for you. Mm. You separate yourself, you waste your time, and at the end of your life, you find that the decisions that I've made was pointless. Yes. Amen. 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 
So this is what the devil uses. As I've said, comfort creates a routine or a cycle. Yeah. So the devil uses that one of his biggest tricks, comfort. Because you see, comfort does not depend on whether you are rich or you're poor. Mm -mm. It does not depend on anyone. Mm -hmm. Whatever status that whatever status that you have, comfort will come to test you. Yeah. And if you fall for it, if you're up, you go down. Mm -hmm. If you're down and you've tried, you stay down. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 So within that, you create this cycle of, I cannot make it, I cannot do this, I have tried, it's hard, this is not me, you know, I'm not used to this, you know, mm. you start saying all those type of things and it becomes a circle, mm. a cycle, a cycle. Yeah. And from the top, pride creeps in, that's the worst part, yeah. pride creeps in. And what does the Bible say? Pride goes before destruction. Amen. You have made it in life. You have all that you wanted. And now comfort creeps into you. And pride begins to build up within you. I have this. I have accomplished this. I've done this. Nobody can tell me anything. Amen. That's when you see you start falling. Start falling. To square one. The goal of comfort is to either bring you to square one or keep you in square one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Within a cycle until your lifetime is up. Yeah. Because there's a, there's a doctrine that goes around once saved, always saved. But the way how I like to do it is this salvation is always waiting for you. Yeah. Amen. It's always waiting for you. Just don't be too late to partake of it. Amen. Because they say you cannot lose your salvation. Mm. But I say salvation is always there, waiting for you. No matter which road you're taking in life, just make sure Come you down. go back home. Alleluia. Amen. And Amen. once you go back home, yeah. you stay home. Amen. 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 And one of the, the biggest problems in life is that we don't learn. Amen. Because mm. you either view something, perception comes into the play. You either view something as a loss or as a lesson. Mm. Amen. Mm. If you view something as a loss, you want to not do it again. You want to avoid that loss. Yeah. But once you view it as a lesson, no matter if you're faced with it again, but with a different form, you know how to maneuver your way. Yes. Amen. And I'm saying this because we all we are humans and God knows that. Once along the road we, we, we falter, we yeah. fail, right? Mm. But coming back home, we should come home with lessons, mm. not with losses. Amen. Because with losses, knowing God very well, He's gonna take you back through that road. Mm. And once you did not learn yeah. the lesson that you needed to learn, mm. it takes you back to learning. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Because God is focused on our character building. Amen. Amen. Go into Genesis. Genesis in the creation of the world. God says, God said, Let us make man in our likeness. And this verse goes over a lot of our heads. Mm -hmm. This was a revelation from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us make man in our likeness. Mm -hmm. We have the form, we have the mind, mm -hmm. we have the spirit. Mm -hmm. What's missing? Character. Amen. Amen. So that's what God is trying to build. Mm. Character. Yeah. He takes you through life's difficulties, not so that you die or lose faith, but to test and build your character. Amen. But once comfort comes into the play, it hinders our growth. Our growth. Our growth in the relationship with God. Our growth spiritually. Mm. Our growth in our character mm. and ultimately our impact in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So that verse, let us make man in our likeness. Yeah. All this is ultimately for God to make us like him. Amen. Amen. This is why he sent Jesus Christ. Amen. To show us how to be like him. Yeah. How to think like him. Hallelujah. How to speak like him. Yeah. And how to act. Like him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 
Comfort oh, is my theme. Mm. Is is simple, but it's dangerous. Mm. And the devil knows this. The devil is coming. He knows the simple things we overlook. Yeah. The simple things we overlook. But he he takes advantage of that. Because when you're comfortable, you're unguarded, you are not vigilant, Mm -hmm. and you are open for attack. Mm -hmm. Amen? So now, since comfort is based on how you feel, Mm -hmm. the devil starts pumping different type of thoughts and feelings. Mm -hmm. And you start start feeling them, receiving them, like, Mm -hmm. this is not me, you know? And then he takes you to a place Mm -hmm. where there is a feeling um who make you feel comfortable mm. right and then you keep in that relax. cycle you become relaxed okay. then you keep in that cycle mm. keep in that cycle the feeling because what i've uh i've taken or what i was um was told by the Holy Spirit is that all these addictions that we have all these um well addictions right mm. it all leads to one place mm. to feel emotionally or emotionally well, emotionally mm. comfortable. Mm. It all leads down the same road. Drugs, addiction, all of those, it leads down the same road. No matter what the category it is, yeah. it leads down to one road. And you feeling emotionally fine, but not just fine, but emotionally great, which that is a false reality. reality. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. That is a false reality because. If you check it, this is what comfort does. Mm. If you check it, you become dependent on something. Yeah. And remember, comfort is a dependent factor. Yeah. Not an independent factor. Mm-hmm. So once you see yourself that if God's peace is not within you, once you see yourself that, let's say I feel, I feel sad. You play worship music, now you're fine. Right? Yeah. That is that is comfort. You're comfortable with playing worship music because you know it's going to make you feel fine, right? But you knowing that God's word will, will create that peace within you, that no matter what, these feelings, I know they'll be. Yeah. Amen? Amen? So comfort is dependent. So if you find yourself depending on certain things mm-hmm. to get to feel emotionally yes. alright, yes. That's that's comfort working. Yeah. Because comfort works through your feelings. Yeah. Sure. Amen? Amen. This is why if you check um the fruits of the Holy Spirit, if you look at all of those, all the fruits, fruit that is mentioned, right? They are not dependent variables yeah. or mm. dependent subjects. Yeah. They are independent. Hallelujah. They are irregardless of the situation. Amen. 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 Uh, that's why the fruit of the Holy Spirit starts with love. Yeah. love. Yeah. If your love is dependent, then it's not love. Yeah. Amen. Then it's not love. Because we have love, we have lust. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Love and lust. Yeah. Lust just copies, like I said, the devil does not create. Sorry, no. The devil does not create, but rather he manipulates what God has yeah. put in place. Yeah. Like lust, it appears like love, but inwardly it's not love. Yeah. Because you are after a specific thing yeah. or factor. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Lust, dependent. Yeah. Amen. Just like happiness, I'm not saying nobody should be happy, but we all know happiness depends on your situation as well. Yeah. Sure. Like Amen. Yeah. That's why. Within the fruit of the Holy Spirit, we don't find happiness there, no. but we find joy. Joy. Yeah. joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because uh-huh. God has given us, I, I, won't, I don't want to say parent emotions, but God has given us the parent guidance. Mm-hmm. Amen. Because we have joy. Mm-hmm. And under joy, we have to find happiness. Mm-hmm. And happiness is the child. Joy is the parent. I like to view it as that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because we see children every day, right? Yeah. Once you buy them something they want, they get happy. Yeah. Once it's broken, the emotion has changed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why God doesn't want for us to focus on child like 
childlike emotions, yeah. right? He wants for us to focus on the bigger picture, yeah. the food of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I did not write that verse down, but it's it's part of the sermon. <laughs> it's Galatians five twenty two. Yeah. All right, Galatians. Can someone please read it for me? So that I'm, I'm not um, misquoting anything. Yeah. Amen. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Against such things, there is no law. Hmm. Amen. 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 There is no law. No, no law. law. Yeah. There is no law. Mm. And with that verse, once you look at it and you analyze it, there is a reason for the order. Yeah. order. The, the words are not just put there for yeah. putting the seed on. Hallelujah. There is a reason for the order. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let me find the verse for myself. Sorry. Galatians 5. 22. 22, 23. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Galatians 5, 22, 23. Mm. Amen. 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 The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Starts with love. Love, yeah. It starts with love. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Once you have the love of the Holy Spirit within you, mm -hmm. comfort has no place around you. Yeah. True. Neither within you. Amen. Because yeah. once you have love, as it is not dependent on the situation, ah, no matter what happens, out of love, yeah. you will do it, whether you feel like doing ah, it or not. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Love. Yes. From love we go to joy. Mm. Because we're doing it out of love, mm. we receive joy. Mm. Amen. 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 Once we receive joy, we find peace. Yeah. We find peace. Amen. 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 And as we find peace within our peace that we have, because peace will also help us to be patient. Amen. 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 Within our patience, we learn to, to look at life from both angles. Yeah. And that was that will make us to be kind God, or yes. filled with kindness. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And from kindness, mm. knowing very well that we've learned through life circumstances mm. and we're still gonna learn, yeah. we understand the reason of being of doing good deeds. Yeah. Yeah. So from kindness, mm. we go to goodness. Yeah. Mm. Amen. And doing good deeds, as Jesus said, by their fruits, you Amen. know that Amen. they are my disciples. Amen. Oh. Amen. So now from goodness or good deeds, you show yourself to be faithful. Mm. So there is a reason why the, the fruit of the Spirit's order is like this. Mm. It all starts from love. Amen. 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 Because for your love of something or for something, regardless of how you feel, you will get up and do it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Sure. Amen. And God with God Himself displayed that. Hallelujah. By sending his son, John 3 16. Mm. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. That whosoever believes in him will not perish. But I have eternal life. Amen. 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 <laughs> so with all this that I've spoken about, once comfort comes into the play, we jump over all this. Yeah. We ignore all this. Once we once we try to find comfort in God's word. Yeah. Because we look we look for those verses that speak to us. Amen. Amen. I can bring up one and say Psalms 23. Psalms 23. Yet while I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, mm. I'll fear no evil. Yeah. But once it comes to the verses that tell you to change oh, your heart, yeah. that's when you draw back yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Amen? Yeah. Comfort keeps you. Comfort has two goals. Mm -hmm. If you're ahead, it's to bring you back to square one. Yeah. And if you're in square one, it's to keep you in square one. Mm. Amen? Because Amen. comfort's goal is to, like I said, to keep you stagnant. Mm. Amen? Mm -hmm. So the growth of 
your character, of your success, and of the church mm-hmm. is hindered because of comfort. Because that's why you can come to church every single day. Yeah. Well, not every single day, but every Sunday, you know that on Sunday I have to go to church. Yeah. It becomes a routine. You don't make it an intentional purpose that as I go to church, yeah. I want to receive right. from the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. And as I receive from the Holy Spirit, no matter what it is, because the Holy Spirit won't just give away and say, you get a job. Because that's what most people come for. Mm. You will succeed. True. Sometimes the Holy Spirit tells you, change your ways. Mm. No. Simple. Change your ways. And there's a reason for that. Yeah. Change your ways because as you change your ways, you change your foundation. Oh, no. okay. As you change your foundation, you make it solid enough for you to rise up. Amen. 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 Oh, God. Mm. So comfort is simple, mm. but dangerous. Mm. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. And this is something we overlook a lot of times. Yeah. Amen. God doesn't want for you to find comfort in his works. He wants for you to find peace. Amen. Amen. God doesn't, doesn't say he wants for you to be happy, mm-hmm. but he wants for you to keep the joy. Amen. Yeah. For you to have the joy. Amen. Because, like Pastor usually says, when it comes to testimony, it's mostly those ones that say, Hallelujah! The job I was praying for, I got it. I was in a tight situation financially and I got money to, to get out. Mm. But we don't hear those testimonies that say, I was down, I was heartbroken, I was abandoned. But because God, because of God's love, I received the peace, mm. I received the joy. Yeah. And ultimately, mm. I've learned the lessons. Mm. In life, no matter who you are, be you Christian or not, oh. we as humans try to avoid process and yeah. progress. Hey. Amen. And yeah. this is why comfort is comfort can creep in so easily. Yeah. Amen. Because yeah. God is a God of process Amen. and progress. Amen. 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 And comfort stops you in your tracks of process, mm-hmm. of the process mm-hmm. and the progress. Amen. Instead of you transiting to a point. You make that your destination. Yeah. And the great and the greatest example of not creating your transition point, your destination, is that the story of Joseph. Yeah. We all know it, right? Yeah. Where he reached a point, he had a dream. Starts with a dream. Mm. He reached a point where it seems like this is not how the dream looked. Yeah. Right? Mm. And God started from there, took him to Egypt. And now he's working within the house, and he becomes, he, he gains authority within the house. Mm-hmm. Authority on everything else except for mm-hmm. the wife. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That could have, he could have said, this is my destination. Yeah. yeah. Amen? Mm-hmm. But that was just transition for us. Hallelujah. Because the testing was coming. Mm. Yeah. The testing was coming. He could have found comfort within the sheets of the, um, Potiphar's wife. Yeah. He could have found comfort there. Mm-hmm. And even Potiphar's wife could have spoken to her husband to give him more authority. More position. Authority. Yeah. Yeah. More position yeah. Right? right? Yeah. But he did not allow himself to, to find comfort within it. Mm-hmm. Amen. Uh, he chose to follow God's karabash, karabash, and yeah. progress. Mm-hmm. And after that, it landed in prison. Yes. Mm. It's not looking like the dream. Yes. 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 Oh, no. yeah. And within being in prison is where comfort puts you. Mm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Comfort puts you in prison. But the dream is not looking as the way he saw. Mm. He's in prison. But the dream shows him that people will bow to him. Yeah. He will have authority. Yeah. He had authority in the house. Mm. And now he's in prison. Mm. So this is what, this is the danger. Amen? Amen. Comfort creates its own prison that it keeps you in. Yeah. yeah. But this is, it uses psychology. Mm-hmm. It creates a prison and it opens the door for you. Yeah. So now you're sitting in prison 
but the door is open. Yeah. Mm. So you feel comfortable within the prison, but the door is open. Amen. Amen. And this comes to the major factor in all of this decision making. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> decision making. Yeah. I don't know if you know, but Satan is a legalist. Yeah. 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 He is a legalist. Yeah. Right. He puts you in a place to say, I've showed you this, right? And he and he persuades you. Mm. But then at the end of the day, he knows he knows it's your choice to make. Yeah. yeah. God will not blame him. Mm -hmm. God will blame you for not making the proper choice. Because yeah. ultimately Satan has been just. So he's done. Mm. He's done. His his penalty is assured. Yeah. But for you, salvation waits for you. Amen. So he's trying to waste your life, waste your time, mm -hmm. so that you don't make it in time to receive oh, the salvation. Oh God. Oh God. Amen. Amen. So he creates a prison, makes it comfortable. You sit there, mm -hmm. the door is open, you're free to go, but somehow you can't go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm so shocked. Decision making. Decision making. It plays a lot when it comes to you escaping com the comfort zone. Mm. Amen. Amen. That's why I said God doesn't want for you to find comfort within his words. Because mm. you tend to decide this Bible verse is for me, that Bible verse is not. Yeah. Meanwhile, that Bible verse you're pushing away is meant to build your character Amen. and yeah. ultimately make you yeah. like God. Yeah. Yeah. Like God. Amen. Amen. Are you blessed? Amen. 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 This is, I think I've said most of what I what I needed to say on comfort. I can't say much more mm. because comfort within itself is a simple thing, but a danger strategy the devil uses. Yeah. Amen. Because we as humans, we are given the ability to continuously grow until our time ends. Yeah. yeah. But comfort creeps in, the devil strategy, it stops us from growing, mm -hmm. keeps us stagnant, mm -hmm. and worst of all, pulls us back to square one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. And now, within that cycle, you, you, you are filled with regrets. You are filled with, if only I did this, if I knew, if I knew, if I hadn't done this, yeah. you know. So you, you don't, you don't tend, to, tend to see the lesson that God intended for you to see through that difficult time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And God allows us to go through difficulties for a reason. Yeah. Like I said, from Genesis, God wants for us to, God has made us like him. So we are incomplete at the moment because of our character. Yeah. Amen. Because it is your character mm. that is going to go to heaven, yeah. mm. not your bodies. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Mm. So God wants to make sure your character mm. is proper for heaven. Hallelujah. So now within your challenges, because God will allow Satan to test you. Within your challenges, Satan will make sure he tests you. Mm. And it's even worse when you have for example, if you're a pastor, if you're an apostle, if you're an evangelist, if you have those gifts of, of God from God, mm. he will test you. Ah, yeah. Amen. To make sure that you know what you know and what you have. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So once you don't know what you have, anything he brings, if it's if it's very difficult for you, you you tend to rely and become comfortable within the situation. Mm. Amen? Amen. But the main point of, of this sermon is that comfort hinders your growth in all areas of your life. Yeah. yeah. In all areas of your life. Yeah. Be it yeah. your relationship with God, your relationship with people, mm. your status in life, and your learning ability. Mm. It hinders each and every sector of your life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I hope you were blessed. Amen. Amen. I hope the Holy Spirit spoke to you and oh, not me. Jesus. Because <laughs> honestly, I, I, I did not write any of this down. But 
this is the word the Holy Spirit placed on my heart, especially when the pastor said we are going to take over the service the last Sunday. Yeah. This was three, not three, five days before today. Mm. And the word comfort came into place. Yeah. And over, over time I was like, let me change it. Mm. But comfort was the word that was yeah. spoken yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. I, hope, what hear this. I hope you have received what the Holy Spirit mm splintered with him to give you Amen. and I hope that the Holy Spirit spoke to you as well. Amen. 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 Amen.